This view is again divided in Lock Overview, Firmware Details, Fixture Properties and Fixture Counters which is planned for future use. In Log Overview you will find all the events that have been recorded. These events are downloaded on the Cloud IO system every time one fixture is connected and discovered. You have three tabs telling you whether it's information or a warning or an error. You can activate the filters and have a look only at what you are interested in. The numbers placed on the filters are showing you only how many new messages, warnings or errors are present from the last log downloaded. All the notifications, once cleared, must be marked as red from the user with the dedicated button to restore the default color coding. The history will not be erased and it will still be available even if the fixture is not connected. Information is only data recorded for the normal operation. Warnings can be errors that are not affecting the functionality of the lamp and under errors you will see all the lamps needing service. If you now click on an error, like this X fan stop over here, you can see when and where it appeared. But the good news is, with one click on information, you will find an error description and a first idea for troubleshooting including spare part numbers. The whole internal log can be exported as CSV. Moving on to the firmware details, you'll have a deep overview on all the firmware installed on each board and the related last release from Claypaki. In Fixture Properties, the user can set the custom name, the warehouse code and enable a custom threshold for the lamp lifetime warning. By default, the warning is set at the 80% of the lamp lifetime based on the hours reported in the lamp datasheet. 